How you doing, Big Easy here? I want to take a little bit and talk about water. Um, I'm in a Facebook group and there was a thread on water. And man, it was a real interesting thread. I bet I spent two hours just reading all over that. And there's just so many different types of water and what's good for what and what's good for this and that. So we got five different basic types of water. We got tap water, purified water, spring water, distilled water, and reverse osmosis water. And I'll explain what reverse osmosis is when that time comes. And so to check these, we got a pH tester and we got a TDS tester, which is a total dissolved solids tester. And then dissolved solids in these are what makes your shine cloudy when you go to proof it. So we'll talk more about each one when we get into them. All right, we're gonna start with our tap water. Um, you know, basic water, the pH on it is usually between six and eight. Um, like I wouldn't use tap water for anything <laughs> as far as when it comes to alcohol making. You know, I wouldn't make my mash with it. I definitely wouldn't proof with it. Um, it's just got so much extra stuff in it as far as calcium and they put fluoride in it. And you just don't want that stuff. So, I mean, pretty much all I use uh, tap water for is to water my plants, water my lawn. If I'm gonna drink it, it's definitely gotta go through a, uh, it's gotta go through a filter. But I prefer just to drink spring water. It's so much better. So it looks like our tap pH, and we're coming up about 8.65. So, and that's to be expected. They add a little, make it a little more alkaline when uh, it comes to your tap water. That's because it's got to go through miles and miles of old nasty lines to get to you. And that's why they put the chlorine in it. And, and then the fluoride, which is supposed to be good for you. But <laughs> that's a different video. So let's check out the um, dissolved solids in this. And this thing reads in um, parts per million. So it looks like um, tap water's got 193 parts per million of total dissolved solids in there. And like I said, I wouldn't use tap water for anything. <laughs> you know, give it to the dogs to drink. I don't like drinking it myself. Uh, I don't know about your tap water, but the tap water around here has got a it's got a weird flavor to it, weird aftertaste. And if people tell you all water tastes the same, they're full of shit. <laughs> it definitely tastes different. So here we got um, purified water. Now you know I'm perfectly fine using purified water to. Uh, make my mash with um i don't like to use it to proof with because it's got dissolved solids in it and it just makes it cloudy and it looks like we're running about 8.09 ph so you know on the purified it's a little less on the pH, but you know, come straight from the bottle. I don't have to go through the water lines. Let's see what the TDS is, because they filter it. And it looks like the purified water is only got 11 parts per million. So, I mean, you could proof with this. Um, and it, it'll cloud up on you a little bit. And you could always fix that cloudiness by running it through a, a Brita filter. So, here we are on to the spring water. Now, as far as for mash making goes, spring water is my favorite. Um, especially if you can get it straight from the source 
I like to go not far from here and there's an artesian well and the water comes up through limestone and eh, nothing makes a better mash or a better shine than some high quality artesian well limestone water. So if you could get some artesian well water, then that's the way to go. Um, if not, then just natural spring water is what I prefer to use. It looks like our pH on this spring water is uh, 7.7. And see, most of your groundwater, when it comes out of the ground, it comes out between six and eight on your pH level. You know, the lower your pH, the more acid it is. Let's check out the parts per million, the dissolved solids in here. Now this is, this is where your flavor comes from out of the spring water is these dissolved solids. You know, it's got all your natural minerals and so it looks like we're at 218 parts per million in that spring water. And you know, that's in this spring water, that, that dissolved solids, that's your flavors. That's where your, your good, good tasting mash, which leads to a great shine is gonna come from. So, spring water is definitely a way to go when it comes to making your mash. All right, now we're gonna talk about distilled water. Now this water here is uh, steam distilled with no minerals added. And some people will take distilled water and use it to proof down their shine, and then they wonder why it's cloudy. Well, if you look at the bottle, a lot of times they add minerals to these for flavors. So if you're gonna use distilled water to proof down your shine, make sure it doesn't have added minerals, and that will lead to less cloudiness. Now, if you're adding, it, adding no mineral distilled water and it's still cloudy, well, that means you got a little bit of your tails in there. Just run it through a Brita filter, clear it right up, and know why we none the wiser. So we're gonna check out this distilled, steam distilled spring water with no minerals added. We've got a pH of eight, right on the dot. How many parts per million we got in here? So in this distilled water, it's got three parts per million. That's virtually nothing. And that's why it's really good water to temper your shine with. Um, it has no added parts, so you're not gonna get any extra flavors off of it. You're not gonna get um, cloudiness off of it. But you know, if if this is cold and your shine's warm, you're gonna create cloudiness. You just have to wait for it to clear up. You definitely wanna mix everything same temperature, usually about room temperature. Now we're gonna move on to the golden water, the reverse osmosis water. See what re reverse osmosis is, reverse osmosis is a water purification process that uses a partially permeable membrane and it separates the ions and the solids and all that out of the water. Um, a lot of people buy reverse osmosis machines and they use them to, to separate all the fluoride out of their water and all the calcium and everything that comes to the tap water. Now this water is supposed to be, you know, it's it's filtered and then they run it through. It's almost like a really small cheesecloth and it separates all the crap from the water molecules. And the only thing that can get through is the water molecules and it leads to really clean tasting water. And we got a pH of eight, right on. 
And if you're wondering where to get reverse osmosis water, usually like I get mine at Myers. They got a, the machine there, you take your jug in and you fill it up. It's like 30 cents a gallon. It's definitely cheaper that way. I know they sell them at Walmart. They usually have places. And then even with the reverse osmosis water, we're looking at 56 parts per million. So while it separates a majority of the solids and the molecules from your water, it doesn't get it all. All right, so that's our different types of water. Um, like I said, if I had to choose what I would use best for, I'd take the tap water and I'd give that to my house plants. Uh, the purified water, you know, um, the purified water and the spring water to me would be best for making your mash with. And especially the spring waters because it has so much more flavors in it. And, um, you know, purified water, if it's what you could get, that's what you could get, man. Nothing wrong with that. And then as far as proofing my shine, when it comes time to proof it, I would definitely use a distilled water, no minerals added. Make sure it doesn't have the minerals. Or, you know, the reverse osmosis water, if that's what you prefer to use. Um, for me, I like distilled water. I mean, I got a still, I just make my own distilled water. You can turn your tap water into distilled water. So um, I hope I helped. Um, you know, answer a couple questions. If you got any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments and we'll see if we can't help them out. And I'm sure I left out some things, so feel free to add to what I missed. And, you know, either way, thanks for watching and shine on.